is Amara Hashmi and we are from Badantis because we have the Rati Bhati team with us. We have Sabha, Jaya and Makar and uh, we are like going to talk to them about their Rati Bhati product and their inspiration and aspirations and the problems they might have throughout the journey. So over to you Sabha. Yeah, so I founded a company called Aurat Raj. I'm the founder and CEO. And with me is the brilliant Jaya, who's looking after our tech. Uh, and then Vakar and I go a really long time uh, back. Uh, Vakar and I have worked on various social campaigns. And a lot of the work that we did with him has led to me actually founding a platform for women, uh, which is on their education, their empowerment, and also their entertainment. So um, our animated content focuses on various topics that are considered taboo in Pakistan, uh, including health and reproduction, including safety, including um, various topics that I am very interested in, which is child marriages, uh, pregnancy and fertility. I remember in 2016, I was doing a story for a, a German magazine on okay. Gandhi Baloch. Okay. She had passed away and I was really researching how our families deal with this concept yeah, of honor is, yeah. and patriarchy and uh, and then I kind of the more I dug into that story the more I realized that I saw like similarities between her story and myself and the differences in our privilege and I never you know wanted to set up Aura Raj I never wanted to set up Raji as a product I never thought I'd create animated content I never thought we'd work on artificial intelligence and tech it's just that through the journey that we've had um, it led to the next step. We went and we uh, presented our content. It made us realize that animated content is not just for kids. Because when we saw cartoons in the classroom, it was the end of the day that the kids were asked questions. Yes. 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 And we would wrap up our you know, equipment and we'd come back and we'd be like, oh my god, we just left those girl girls questioning. Mm -hmm. And that's what led us to realize that we had to use the app because in the future, these girls would have access to a phone. Yeah. And then they can yeah. ask those questions. Yeah. And they can be anonymous enough ask those questions. Um, anonymity, uh, we realized we that in our campaigns, ke andar, we would ask at the end, if you have a question or cartoon say, inspired, hai, put it on a, a sheet of paper and just put it in this bag that we have. We yeah. would collect those questions. And we realized that anonymity allowed girls to say whatever yeah, they, they wanted want, to do. Yeah. Yeah? And that really, really uh, you know, inspired me that you know, the app should basically work exactly like that. So we started building our AI um, and to kind of center back, we had another thing inspired us to do a campaign with Vakar. Okay. Um, Vakar, do you want to tell or should I? Uh, it was basically about the plastic problem. No, no, the, the before first, that. The, before okay, that, the first campaign of ours was basically we worked with uh, the transgender activist Kami okay. Sid, in which me and Saba basically uh, joined together to launch her as a model. Mm -hmm. Sorry, at the time uh, there was a transgender woman I remember precisely that uh, she was killed, um, she was shot and when they were taking her to the hospital, uh, the reason why the hospital staff could not do anything because they couldn't decide that they male ward or female ward. Oh my god, I followed that. We wanted to see that and we, um, Bakar had known uh, Kami for a while, I didn't know her and we also wanted to see whether we could do something that could spark global change and you know what happened, we literally budget we reached out to our own network we got a, a beautician who wanted to basically redo her entire look and we got a, uh, we got her own clothes we didn't get style and then I used my global networks to push that message that this is pa Pakistan's first transgender model and I was really surprised wow. that nobody had ever considered that you know yes. from that community and even we are not you know transgenders if you look at it now recently a school opened up they have yeah. given the opportunities to grow up yeah. in the society yeah. and and that made us realize that we could do something yeah. at yeah. our yeah. own scale I mean and that uh, that particular campaign was first covered by everyone international media and then when the international media uh, started saying all this the local media khal khal ke jaga and they like oh Jio pe aya Pakistan's first transgender model <laughs> Jio ke baad us jaya and I was really um, angry about the fact that you know this is something that should have been highlighted by our local media exactly. but only because the foreign media the Al Jazeera's and the BBC's and all of them when they started creating a hype about it that's when our local media decided this was an important campaign Actually, we, we you know emphasize on more issues. Um, or the negativities, we focus on more issues. 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 We focus on more issues
So I think absolutely, yeah. and we've seen the journey of Kami from that campaign yes. to who she's now. Yeah, she's a global star. She's done yeah. movies. She's uh, she, there's so many. She won the uh, ramp. Uh, for she won the ramp this yeah. year. So we, although she is a star on her own, and she was always meant to be a star. However, the fact that we could play a really tiny role in her journey for me that makes me so happy, and that makes me realize that we can do so much more with all of that. A tiny okay. role for someone can do a lot to them, right? and somebody to tell. Believe that she yeah. can be who she is exactly. right now, and um, and I think having that positive community is very important. She has that positive community. I have my positive community as well. All right, uh, uh, yeah. Would you say that like joy, I forgot. How you guys met, or like, yeah, what you thought, or the side of it, or how did you meet? I was in my final year when I was working on uh, core tech because I'm a computer grad, computer science graduate. Okay. So I was working on this. Uh, Artificial intelligence, data mining, and all the whole core tech things. When in my final year, I realized that what impact am I creating with this tech? So I I started working at this uh, lab where I was taking up a project where I collected a lot of data for uh, social impact organizations, NGOs, for profit organizations, and then I wanted to map them and see uh, like help them uh, get better volunteers for them and improve their outreach. That's when I came up across a name called Aurathraj, and I thought, <laughs> and I thought, and I thought that would be some old lady. 60 years old, old. 60 years old lady, and <laughs> running up an NGO at the center of the city, and she would be doing some very traditional work. But then I digged up and found out that she was using technology for social impact, and I thought one day I'll meet her and work with her. That story ended there. I graduated, and I was going. I went to British Council Library for some work, and there was founder of Oral Class talking there. Two girls from school <laughs> about how important it is uh, to bring more women in STEM, and I was like, I I was standing at the corner of that auditorium, and I was just listening to it. And you would be like, why yeah. I it so long? <laughs> and I was like, it was yeah, great. I was really supposed to meet. I didn't know. Yeah, 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 she yeah, kind of fell in love like, with you after the first meeting. They were I don't know exactly. Yeah, I was so like, super, super depressed. I thought that there will be something to do because I, I can I could relate to uh, that Aurat Ra Raj and that Baji app so much that I just wanted to meet the person just to see what she is. So yeah. I was like looking at her and listening to her. Although I had to I had to submit a few things. My sisters were like, "Why are you standing here?" I'm like, just "Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to her. How passionately she talks about her." <laughs> and then at the end of the day, they had some Q A and one on one mentoring, and I went to. Her, I was like, "I want to work." I want to work on this idea. I want to work on this idea, and I, I gave her so many ideas. I want to work. She has a lot of ideas. In so she actually has a lot of ideas. She gave such a great idea right then, and I realized that she was going to be a great resource. So I remember her putting an idea forward for virtual reality on harassment. So um, how could we get boys and girls to understand what street harassment feels like if we put them in a VR environment where that harassment actually takes place? Boys could understand like what they could grow empathy about the experience of a woman walking on the street. And I was like, Much that is such a fantastic idea. One day we will work on that idea. <laughs> <laughs> and she asked me to reach out to her and. <laughs> so right now Jaya is working on her app and she is building the AI. She's doing a lot of uh, modeling behind the app. With Zaki, <laughs> with Zaki who's also working with us from Toronto. He's one of our advisors. Uh, and तेरा बताओ तेरे impress करो कि तुम क्या कर रही हो. Yeah please. Yeah. But क्या क्या बताओ. Talk about the tech. Talk about the tech. So right now we want to build like basically improve the AI model. Right now it's very basic, but we want it to be very, um, very detailed and advanced about topics which cover everything regarding women's health, mental health, reproductive health. We're collecting a lot of data. We're make, essentially building a lot of content. Uh, around these topics, we were creating the bots empathy, and we're actually trying to go more towards a tech where we can train the bot on the go. Every time we want to talk, like we want 
basically right now uh, the bot is not interactively training so if we build this technology we will actually uh, tell the bot what to answer and then it will learn it on its own and then answer so that's something very interesting that we're working on and uh, we hope that we we'll release that soon. <laughs> 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 So basically, okay, how do you meet yeah. uh, Sabha and what, what initiatives you guys are going to be taking? So basically, uh, me and Sabha have been friends for a very long time okay. and uh, since the starting of my career. Uh, by profession, I'm a fashion designer and social entrepreneur. Oh, wow. um, so she has been uh, a guiding force and a mentor for me throughout my career <laughs> with my work. Uh, but that's definitely true. And because of that, uh, we both able to do a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of topics. We touched down a lot of topics in which is uh, was were taboo and became like a world sensation things uh, around the globe. So, so that's the thing. I think um, we started with the first campaign. Uh, before that, we always used to sit over a coffee and we had a chat that we can do this, we can do that, we can conquer the planets and wow. stuff like that. So, the organizations has always been really big of ours to to do the work. So, so the ground reality we started with the first campaign of uh, the transgender model and uh, that became. But that we how we met. Uh, yeah, so basically... Yes, teacher. Yes, that's how we became friends and I would guide him and overall I was also in life. So yeah, I think we... Yeah, it is a part of life. It's a part of life. You need to have a support system in that um, I worked as a consultant for one of the NGOs in Sindh uh, in a, a craft and enterprise department in which I engaged with over 27 communities, over 400 different women. Um, we produced a collection so from that area I got the background of working with the rural areas and the whole uh, understanding of women empowerment, what it is and how it works in that way. So after that um, in, in the whole process, um, I got to know about Aurat Raj and, and that's how I started working with. Right now, what we are doing is basically, uh, recently we did a campaign, uh, which is called, it was last year, which was called Reimagining Plastic Collective. And that's in that we use the women, um, as a women empowerment, we use the wives of the fishermen. Uh, the fish net, which is, which is called the ghost net, for, retrieved from the seeds, we made a jewelry out of it and uh, it, it really came out really well. Um, it, was, it happened at the Doos Day, which is one of the days uh, of, of the Dwink. And uh, so that's, that's how we started and then we're taking the process go by through in the making. And the, the, the future projects that we're working on is basically we want to engage the communities who are being a part of the order throughout. Um, we wanted to train them, we wanted to make the products uh, with good international quality standards and we wanted to definitely sell those products in a clothing line, could be accessories line, um, a lot of things that a lot of people can actually buy those products and support the women, support this initiative and also um, get the awareness of how this whole system manages and what women actually goes through in the whole process. So the most interesting thing that we are planning right now, uh, so we're going to tell you more better about it, is a QR coding that you're going to have with each piece which is going to tell you the story and give you a chance to engage with that person who has been through uh, this whole entire journey of her life and um, and making your product. So it's a unique technology aspect we have uh, into our products which is going to engage you on a personal basis uh, with the consumer and also with the person who made it. So it's such a great job, you know women will start you know coming up to you and say okay we have a talent and you guys can show it up yeah. you know we love to it's just that hum bhi bahut kam log hai to hamare we have to basically like kind of divide the work yeah. so yeah. Uh, with vakar and working entirely on the clothing and uh, accessories uh, and plastic, also one thing um, uh, sorry to interrupt yeah uh, so this is an opportunity through the order of spread from my god it's basically i am uh, traveling to berlin in germany okay. to for a fashion course right. which is okay. wearable technology uh, uh, say what's actually going on <laughs> h&m ke liye line yeah. bana rahe hain with wow. 20 entrepreneurs wow, wow. So yeah um, wow. so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good 
opportunity. Yes. It's a huge <laughs> opportunity because there's no other Pakistani entrepreneur. I was the last wow. entrepreneur who went Great. to the yeah. school for it, and he's the second, no, he's the third one. Third one. Um, there's another entrepreneur from our community who went. Um, so I, I also feel that it's very important to keep um, upskilling our employees so that they learn and they come back and they contribute. So him as a resource when he comes back course, and the kind of products that he will design for us, it's going to be so much even more than what he's already doing yeah, with us. I'm just, you know, slowly start, you know, fangirling that. <laughs> you know, yeah, so it's okay. Uh, yeah. Sabha, what mm. is the message you want to give to the girls who are suffering these kind of problems and you know in the society? What is your message, your vision to those those women who are leaking the opportunities or who don't get such kind of ways? Like we as a as a as a girl, if I talk about myself, I have got a very supportive family, right? You have got a very supportive family, you have got a very supportive family. But well <laughs> some parts. <laughs> Some yeah, parts of it, yeah. Please cut that from the video. I'm serious. I'm serious. Cut that well from the video. Alright. No, we're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to do that. I'm glad that I have the privilege of working at least. A lot of girls don't do that. Many families, as I say, that all families say, go and do it. No, it doesn't happen. They're right. They have the concerns. Yeah, own lines, you know. Definitely. Definitely. Even culture. when he travel, even his family is so scared yeah. every time that we go to these places. They're like, Kaise My papa yeah. is so, I'm telling you, my papa is so conscious about me that I, I was coming here and I, I got, I guess, five or six calls. Okay, where are you? Have you, you know, yeah. are you okay? And, you know, yeah. so fa every family has their own lines, but that's great. I think that is the, we have the privilege that we are working and we are going outside, we are moving, we are dealing with different people. But what about those girls who families not going to be out of You know, don't let go or uh, you know, don't talk to boys. Like we have, you know, being an individual, I have witnessed this. That girls are being made to do this. And the biggest thing is child marriages. M marriage from, you know, before 18. So what is your message to those girls? Should they, what, how There's can they so take a stand messages. for themselves? Like yeah. I, myself, was very into, I still am very into these kind of things. Ke how these girls can go out and walk. And I still have, uh, you know, arguments, a lot of arguments with my dad. So my dad said, you can't do anything. You can't just go and knock the doors and say, nah, you have to let me go <laughs> So Sabha, what is your, you know, point on that? I think there's no easy answer. There's no real message that I can give. And I'm not even at that stage where I can give a big message. But I would just say that for women who are already married or let's say 20 plus, Economic empowerment, empowering yourself financially is one of the best ways that you can be independent. So, um, and now technology provides so, so many avenues yeah. to do it. Um, there are freelancing jobs, there are remote jobs, uh, there are uh, ways that you can create your own income through becoming maybe an influencer or there are thousands of avenues. But getting to that stage, you need some mentoring. So, reach out to people who you think are a mentor yes. for you and just uh, just say the way that you reached out and you found somebody yeah. that that's exactly what you should do you should find people who have a similar vision and who can guide you who would put the time to guide you because mujhe is level tak leke aane mein itne mentors hain globally locally who have inspired or given me that risk taking ability that i could set up my own organization i didn't know i could do that so that, uh, so get economically empowered, study, uh, find opportunities, be very proactive. And Dusra, you can question, but question in a way that you do not retaliate people. Start the process of questioning yourself, and then start the questioning of uh, the society, and then slowly and gradually you might be able to question what's happening in your life, and then think what you could do differently. Create lies from scratch. This is the best time to recreate what a career for a woman would be like, what your life could be like. Because now, the formula that our formula was that at this time, you should marry at this time. This time, you should marry at this time. Exactly. That is what you have done. You can recreate your life. You can marry at whatever you age you like. You can have kids. You can choose not to have kids. Yeah. Is there possibilities that exist exactly. now? Exactly. <laughs> For our mothers, our mothers didn't get a chance for this, our grandmothers didn't get a chance for it. So we're very, very lucky. Use the privileges. If you have a certain privilege, make sure somebody else benefits from that privilege as well. 
So yeah. that's all for today. So yeah. hope we uh, we all be uh, doing a series together, right? Yes, yes we're gonna right. bring our community. Maybe we'll take you to everywhere from Orangi to Leali wow. to Kambar uh, one day. <laughs> so maybe we're gonna travel along for a long while. So this is gonna wait for today. And there is a lot to come, more guys. Yeah, there's a lot to come in the future. So. And all thank right. you all the amazing people. We love to meet you and thank you so thank much. You. Hope to work with you. Right? Yes. For the future. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye.